the best foods for building muscle and strength aren't about one macronutrient. It's the combination of protein, fats, and carbs. One thing we need to make clear before we continue is no matter how perfect your diet is, if you're not training hard and progressively, you're not going to build muscle. No one has ever built muscle or increased their strength with diet alone. Whole foods are always the best choice to build muscle as they contain more than just the primary macronutrient we're looking for. They also have micronutrients we need, like vitamins and minerals. Carbs provide us with the energy to train hard. When we eat carbohydrates, they get converted into glucose or glycogen. Glucose is used immediately for energy, and glycogen gets stored either in the muscle or as fat. It's the fat part that scares people, but the leaner you are and the more active you are, the more carbs you'll want to take in. If you have diabetes, are pre-diabetic, or very overweight, you may want to limit your carbs but those you do eat should be whole foods like the ones I'm about to list. Carbohydrates play an essential role in muscle recovery, replenishing the glycogen stores in the muscle, and as they're drawn in, they bring in other nutrients that aid in recovery. Oatmeal is an excellent source of carbs that provides lasting energy, and it's very satiating too. So for those who are striving to lose weight, it'll help you feel full longer. Oats also contain avian anthramides, which increases nitric oxide production, improving blood flow. This is important because the more efficiently our blood circulates, the better it is at bringing nutrition into the muscle and removing waste. Beans, and in particular black beans, are another great carbohydrate source. For those trying to limit animal protein, it contains a reasonable amount of protein, and like oatmeal, it's slow digesting and long lasting. Black beans also contain many micronutrients like potassium, iron, zinc, and magnesium, more than most other starchy carbs. My last carb source was a toss-up between quinoa, rice, or potatoes. White potatoes are my personal favorite, and high in potassium, even higher than bananas, another excellent muscle-building carb. If we're low on potassium, we'll experience muscle weakness and cramping, so to get the most out of our workouts, we need to take in enough. I recommend at least 30 to 55% of your diet being carbohydrates. Currently I have mine at 40% and spread them out evenly during the day. Fats play an integral role in building muscle. One of the ways it does this is by managing our hormone levels, most notably testosterone. A meta-analysis published in 2021 found significant decreases in sex hormones on a low fat compared to high fat diet. Specific vitamins like A, D, E, and K are fat soluble and play a role in building and maintaining muscle. Without taking enough fat for absorption, you won't get the benefits of these vitamins. We need both saturated and unsaturated fats in our diet. If you're a meat eater like I am, you're sure to be getting enough saturated fat. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you might want to add coconut to your diet to increase your saturated fat intake. We tend to think of eggs as a protein because it contains a very digestible form, but it actually has almost twice the amount of fat as protein. Most of the fat in an egg is unsaturated, the type of fat we typically don't get enough of. The reason people fear eggs is because of the high level of cholesterol they contain. Many studies have shown that there's no connection between dietary cholesterol and serum cholesterol levels, but if you have issues with high cholesterol, listen to your doctor and dietitian. There may be a connection between cholesterol and muscle growth, they did a study on 49 people between the ages of 60 and 69 and found after 12 weeks of high intensity resistance training and nutritional supplementation, there's a dose response between dietary cholesterol and gains in lean muscle mass. Like anything, you need balance, so depending on your size, two to three eggs a day is plenty. For unsaturated fat, salmon is a good source. Again, we think of it as a protein, but it contains a bit more fat than protein. A couple of great non-meat unsaturated fats are found in nuts like almonds, peanuts, and walnuts. Avocado is a fruit that's mainly unsaturated fat, but because it's made up primarily of fat, it's easy to overconsume. with one avocado containing 322 calories. An article in Natural Bodybuilding published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition stated most bodybuilders respond best to consuming 15 to 30% of their daily calories from fat. I tend to bump this up a bit, taking it to 20 to 35%. We've talked about a few protein sources like eggs, salmon, and beans because of the other macros they contain. What we look for in a quality protein food is digestibility, and it has to have all of the essential amino acids, with leucine being the most anabolic, 
playing a pivotal role in muscle protein synthesis, so we'll want to choose a protein high in leucine. Foods that match up to these requirements are eggs, shrimp, milk, and milk products like Greek yogurt and ricotta cheese. The protein food options open up a lot just below this top group. To find out what they are and how much we should be consuming, watch this video next and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.